Alright, what's going on guys? I'm bringing you another Modern Warfare gameplay. This is another TDM Moab, pretty much all I play when I play pubs in this game now. Just TDM solo, it's the least stressful for me, the least bullshit. But anyways, um, just average TDM Moab, PP90, C-Town, that's all you need to know. I have some commentary topics that I would like to talk about, about Call of Duty Ghosts. So I made a video a few days ago saying that I wasn't very excited for Ghosts, and I didn't think it was going to be very good. And my opinion has changed a little bit, and in a good way. In a good way and a bad way, you'll see why. But I'll talk about the basic stuff first. So first of all, everybody must know by now that there is going to be a Moab. The KEM Strike, Chem Strike, Keem Strike, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I don't even know. But that is going to be in Call of Duty Ghost, so that is a huge plus. That's like, that. I would, like, I would say before, I was probably like, out of 100% like excitement for Ghosts, probably at around 60%. Um, you know, simply because it's a new Call of Duty, I want to see it. That was it. Now that the Moab is in there, you know, I'm, I'm probably sitting around 75%. And then today I heard that there was no spawn protection. Now this isn't 100% confirmed, but I believe that there is no spawn protection in Ghosts, which would be amazing. And if this is true, that brings my excitement to about 85%. And so that's, ri I'm really happy at that point. And I don't know if that's true, but if that is true, I'm going to definitely go in with some assault on Ghosts. And that would, that would make the game playable for me. So this is all good news for you guys, because you guys will see the videos then, you know, all sorts of good videos. And then the last thing I heard, which is what really is going to make or break this game, is that the VSAT will be returning for the first time in an Infinity War game. In Call of Duty Ghost, there will be a kill streak, just like the VSAT, and it's called the Oracle. Now, there's a few good things about it, there's a few bad things. So, first of all, it works exactly like the VSAT. It shows their exact location, it's not an advanced UAV, it doesn't sweep, it shows their exact location in real time, so that's good. So, you know, now my excitement is about 99%, like, I'm like, yeah, let's go, this should be a great game. But here's the problem with it. One... It can be countered in this game. Now, usually the VSAT has no counter, which usually I'm a fan about that because, you know, I'm usually the one getting the VSAT, so I don't care how fair it is, to be honest, because I rarely would get a VSAT called in against me, so I don't really care. But there is a counter. If you use Blind Eye in this game, you will not show up on the Oracle. So, I mean, I guess that's good because it makes, it makes sure that the game is balanced. And, you know, it's very unlikely that a full team of six will all be using Blind Eye. So, you know, maybe if one or two use Blind Eye and I can still see where the rest of them are, I can, you know, usually judge the location of the remaining players that are not visible. So that's not really a big deal to me. As long as, you know, you know, I can monitor for three, all six people would use Assassin and you would just have no clue where anyone is. That shit was really annoying. So that's fine with me. Now, here is the problem that arises for a few reasons. One is the Oracle is in the support strike package. Yes, you fucking heard me correctly. It is in the support strike package. So any Randy, mixed grandy, no thumb, terrible player can get a, can get himself a VSAT, which is a problem, a very big problem. Now, this is a problem for two reasons. One, it's gonna ruin YouTube. YouTube support gameplays in this game, if that's how it's imagine this. Modern Warfare 3, you know, support gameplay was already, it was pretty easy to get gameplay in Modern Warfare 3 because, you know, you had, you know, how much ever extra health with the ballistic vest, UAVs up, you know, spawn trap going, you're running around with every single perk in the game. You're a super soldier killing people. Great. But the one thing that could fuck you up was a kid sitting in the corner with Assassin Pro. In this game, there's a VSAT. So now imagine you're in the spawn, you got the double health with the ballistic vest on, have all the perks, you're running around, and you know exactly where every single enemy is at all times, and you can see their real-time movement. That is a joke. Like, do you understand how easy it's going to be to get gameplays in this? Um, especially with a support party, so... Oh man, like I don't know. This this might mess up. This really might ruin YouTube, to be honest. If people start using support parties with VSATs and stuff like that, so that's just, I'm just throwing that out there. But one um, dilemma I came up with is, what will be better for solo gameplay? Would you rather run support for yourself and have UAV counter UAV and the orbital or the was it Oracle? You know, then you're calling VSATs for yourself, which make it easy to get kills so you can get your Moab chem strike or would you run specialist so you can have all the perks so then you can run around like a super soldier and get your chem strike so that's going to be something that can be debatable uh, we'll have to see when the game comes out obviously we don't know right now but yeah i just wanted to throw that out there for you guys about the vsat and all that um bomb protection you know moab i'm sure you guys already knew about the moab but anyways that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you enjoyed leave me your comments below i'm interested to see what people think i think this is either going to make the game amazing or it's going to make the game complete shit so uh, they may have fucked up or they may have done a really good thing. We'll have to see. Only time will tell. So yeah, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow all the links in the description, my Twitter, Twitch, all that good stuff. And uh, other than that, I will catch you guys later with another video. Have a good day and peace out.